Good morning. I'm at uh, Dreamworld today just to do a construction update on the steel tie pan. Uh, finally got a name for it last week. Uh, sorry, this week. Um, real good name. We'll, we'll talk about that a little bit more once I get inside. Uh, 41 degrees today. Absolute scorcher. Welcome to summer in Queensland. Let's go and have a look. Uh, just before I go inside, thank you for all your support lately. Much appreciated. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thank you. So what's going to happen, guys, is the surveyors will come in and mark out where the where the uprights are going for the roller coaster. Then they'll drop the tubes in the ground and fill them with concrete. These will sit in the concrete. These poles will then bolt onto the brackets, and then your roller coaster will get uh, or your track will get bolted onto onto the top of them. You can see on the bottom of the tracks there the the metal bits with the with the holes in well that's where they will bolt onto the uprights every every piece has got one or two of them on there so they bolt together all right you can see that there's a uh, a lot has happened here they still got a long long way to go but uh it's progressing well the, the whole ground's vibrating at the moment. You can see over the back there the old uh, volcano from the Blue Lagoon, now that everything's cleared away. It's looking good. Um, over the other side there is the, the footings. So that's what the track's going to get bolted onto. I showed you those in, in, in the car park as well. The, the name Steel Tie Pan, I thought that might have been to do with Viper from Kung Fu Panda, but she's a green tree snake, not a tie pan. Doesn't really look like a green tree snake, but anyhow, there you go. A tie pan is a, a big, fast snake, so I'm guessing they're they're saying that this is going to be a big and fast roller coaster. Let's hope that it uh, lives up to its name. They must also be putting in new uh, storm water or drainage. Those big pipes. If we go around over this way towards the uh, giant drop. You can see down there that they're laying new pipes in the ground for drainage. So I'm going to have to do a bit of investigation here because I'm not really sure. Um, the big cars must be racing out here somewhere. Dream World might be a sponsor. So with a little bit of investigation, there is going to be a monster truck show at Dreamworld, well it's in between Dreamworld and White Water World. Uh, from the 26th of December to the 10th of January, it'll be three times a day and it's included in your entry ticket. Uh, a couple of minutes and they're going to start this bad boy up. We'll hang around and wait and see what it sounds like. I feel sorry for Kenny and Belinda. It's like 35 degrees already and they're dancing around in their suits. Poor people. This had, this had worked really well up on uh, Fraser Island, I feel. Have a look at the size of it. So those tyres are up to my shoulder. They gotta be five foot tall. Massive. Don't know how much money they're worth, but I'm, I'm sure we'll come down and watch the show when it's on. Um, 
should be really, really good to watch. So just again, three times a day from the 26th of December through to January 10th and it's included in, in your uh, included in your entry ticket. All right guys, that's it today. Uh, a little bit too hot for me heading home. Uh, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to sub sub don't forget to subscribe. Um, check out the monster trucks here from the 26th of December through to the 10th of January included in your entry ticket and the steel Taipan coming along nicely. All right. Uh -huh.